Some people are just creeps. Hey guys, welcome back to Tales from the Crypto Keeper. And I'm your friendly neighborhood Canuck, the Crypto Keeper. Today we're going to be covering a topic that could affect everybody. Today we're going to be talking about some common crypto scams. Because believe it or not, in case you haven't met people, they fucking suck. There are people out there that will try to convince you in many different ways. Pulling at your heartstrings, um, trying to tell you a convincing story. Just to get into your crypto accounts and take what is yours. The first thing we're gonna be talking about today is fake comments and then the replies. So I'm sure you guys have all seen this. You're in a Discord or a Reddit server and you know, um, you'll see in the comments another comment to join this person's Discord server. Or you may see, um, you know, leave your wallet address and we're gonna be free dropping, insert hot topic of the moment into your wallet. And that's not going to happen. I hate to tell you this, but, um, you know, Ottoman Atosu from Namibia is not a millionaire or a billionaire. Because if he was, he wouldn't be living in Namibia. Not trying to be rude. Just being honest. Show me one millionaire there that isn't the corrupt bastard that runs that country. So these greasy bastards are going to come at you. You might leave a comment like, hey man, great video. They're going to come in and pretend to be the actual content creator of the video. And they're going to try to befriend you. They might even, you know, uh, send me your DM. I really want to talk to you. And if you're interested in their topic, you might be thinking, oh, shit, hey, this is a great opportunity to talk to this fella that I like to uh, like to follow. Well, what's going to happen then is they may try to get you to give up your wallet passwords, which is usually a list of 12 phrases, uh, if you don't know, that they'll give you in a specific order when you open a wallet. And to access it from another device or reopen your account, um, you have to be able to put those same words in, in the exact same order. And they're completely random. You, you guys should never give that out. Ever, 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 ever give that out. Now, for those of you in the know, you probably know what I'm talking about. You, you might not, you might not fall for this scam. Well, I would hope that no one would fall for this scam, but I mean, it happens to people all the time. You see, you see articles about it online all the time. So when you get your 12 words, guys, what you're going to want to do Write them down, keep them somewhere safe. Don't keep them on an electronic device because those can be hacked. Write them on a piece of paper and then you know, put them in a fire safe. All right, next we're gonna be talking about fake apps. So these are gonna be the things you download onto your phone, right? And you're gonna wanna verify that these are legit because guys, believe it or not, it's the wild west of crypto right now. So there's no regulation and a lot of people are trying really sketchy shit to get in there and get your money. Most legitimate apps, applications, wallets, whatever, will help you come up with an anti-phishing phrase um, that will be inside of any message they send you. So, you know, it's legitimately from them. So some of the ways you're going to be able to verify these apps first, check the reviews, just read through them. Now, I know you guys are all Amazon shoppers, so you understand when it's the company pumping their own fucking tires. Don't look at those, read the real legitimate reviews. And if there aren't any, that should tell you something. Also, if you're going to download a well-known platform, well-known app, um, like, you know, uh, MetaMask or, uh, <laughs> shake pay or even crypto.com um and it only has like a thousand likes that should also uh raise your suspicion you know it shouldn't make sense that something that has a million users has a thousand likes or one comment right so you know exercise your own discretion you're smart people i mean you're here so use your, use your brain fake websites here's one that is as old as time itself it is as old as Mrs. Crypto Keeper. I really hope she doesn't watch this or see that or hear me through the floor because there's certain things I can't do. I'm not a very flexible guy. Can't suck my own dick. Tried it once, fell off the couch, still have a back injury. So anyway, these websites, they're set up. They set them up to look like a legitimate website. Everything. They're gonna copy backgrounds. It's gonna it's gonna have all the right logos, it's gonna have all the right watermarks, it's gonna, it's gonna look 100% legit, but something's going to be off. It might be in the URL. They might have a phrase prior to the actual web address. They may use things like a one instead of an L or a zero instead of an O. So be very careful when you're looking at the actual web address that it's taking you to. Next is the good old pump and dump. No, this is where a developer is going to put out a project or a coin and they're going to talk great things about it. These guys are going to pump the coin, right? Inflate its value falsely to uh, encourage others to buy into this shit normally you'll see it in a lot of posts where they're promising due diligence or your dd um expecting to increase the price that and, and show validity 
They'll make posts with rocket ships because for whatever fucking reason, that just gets you guys going. Um, tons of different emojis, the cash with the money and the, eh, and the tongue out and bullshit. And it means nothing. Come on, guys. Use your heads, right? You know, is a, is a multi-million dollar organization going to use such shitty means? And I mean, if they do, how long do you really expect them to last, right? So you're going to be doing a lot of your own homework on this. And last we got rug pulls. And this is not the Brazilian pussy kind. There is no hair getting removed from anybody's gitch. This is the type of rug pull where they tell you, hey, I own a bajillion of these things. And they'll get you to buy them. And the minute that everybody buys them, the second they launch, they have all the coins. They sell it all. They pull the rug out and there's no money left for anybody. And you're left holding the bag. And then you look like a jackass with a stupid smile and an empty bank account. And there's, you know, again... Probably one of the Paul brothers fucking holding up their dumb shit and they're going to deny that they had anything to do with the project. No, don't hold the bag for shitty people. A lot of times if something is too good to be true, it probably is. Like you probably get those emails, right? Where it fucking, they should get filtered to your junk, but sometimes they don't. Where it's like Oksana, the hottest girl you've ever fucking seen in your life is like, oh, I found you. And I just want to be with you, but I need a plane ticket and send me money for one. That happened today. That happened today. It hasn't happened your entire fucking life. You know you've always looked like a foot, but today someone on the internet just fucking loves you. No, dude, you know it's bullshit. And it's the same thing as this, all right? So don't fall for it. So that's some common scams that I need you guys to watch out for, all right? If you like this video, I want you to hit like. If you really liked it, hit subscribe. We are trying to grow this channel bring you more content more often, guys. We really appreciate the support, and we'll see you around in the next one.